Now look, my guard's open, Professor Phillips coming around my guard and he's gonna try to get side control. This really never happens ever, but look, he got here, okay? I begin to frame, I make his arm uncomfortable, I stretch him out here, he pulls my hand, because I have to uh, scoot out, and I begin to recompose my guard, and so forth, okay? The key to what I was doing was I was beginning to frame right here and tra trap his arm, okay? He's gonna move, okay? And I begin to move out here, and begin to reestablish my position, okay? So, now when we reverse it, commonly when I have this folks guard, right? It's like, <laughs> So, my objective from here is not to hold him. My objective from here is to continue to improve my position and get him in some kind of positions that are more likely for me to be able to apply submission. Or improve the position, because from here, I'm in side control, I can also go to mount. So what happens here is that as I settle into this position here, he begins to frame here. I'm not gonna let him trap my arm here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll my hips and I'm gonna break down his frame and I'm gonna break down this frame here because he's gonna have to move that arm out and then we get into a kiss of katami. Not a kiss of katami, a scarf hold. From here, I'm gonna move him up. Here, here, here. From here, scoot back. I can begin to mount and I can begin to attack, okay? So if you notice, let's see, we're passing here. And here, I'm trying to get the side control here. I took my hand out before he even trapped it. My left hip, this way. Okay. I know he's gonna frame my hip right here. Okay, it's framing the hip, look, I can push it down, Lock his hip down, put his frame down, move my hip across, give him a lot of pressure. This is all breaking down right here, he's not comfortable. Loops it around here, grab his elbow, went into the scarf fold here, okay? Nice, good pressure here, all right? From here, I can begin to switch my base here, I can reverse my base, I can back up, I can even come back here. Okay, but he's probably gonna want an underhook. Now let's see if I give up an underhook here. Now I have the kiss of katana, okay, which is common in judo, okay? What I'm doing here, I know a lot of you guys have assured you to grab the leg, but I want you to scoop the head, okay? Because it applies a lot of pressure. And what I'm doing is, is that my feet are dynamic here. I'm not here, because he can push me back that way. I'm here and I'm leaning forward on him and my hip is off the mat just a little bit where all the pressure is on his chest and on the rib. This hand is scooping the back of his head, okay? And this is clapping. It's like I'm pulling his shoulder out of the socket here, okay? Yeah, sorry. There you go. And notice how wide my feet are because if he starts moving away from me, I can put my head down, he starts moving into me, okay? But I'm constantly controlling him. If I don't move, he'll, he'll move his hips away. Look, see, and then I need you to move. If I don't move, okay? So we got to the kiss of Katami, and I don't want to grab right here. I want to guide it here, but at the same time, I want to be controlling here. Because now if he tries to uh, lift his hips up in upa, <coughs> it's, it's hard for him to do. Here, he can lean his head back, and see how he can dip me forward. Because from here, he's gonna clap his hands together around my back, okay? And he wants to do that. Right there, okay? And that's bad for me. So you have to be dynamic. Now, I don't know, is Mike here? No. So we got to the kiss of Katami here. And remember, I can always begin to go and mount from here also. But what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna talk about the kiss of Katami position so you have control. You see how he's doing the right thing, he's properly framing here. All I just want you guys to do to practice a little bit here is not to let him get position on you because the only reason why he's gonna be able to get the position he got we, we went over yesterday is only because I'm gonna sit here and not move. So if I sit here and don't move, he'll drop my hand and make it all uncomfortable. And then by the time I do this, this, and I begin to lose a great position. So I go through all that. So the second I feel him, Setting up his frames here, I'm gonna remove my hand. I'm gonna roll my hip onto that arm that's framing my hip. From here, I'm gonna put my belly button pressure on. This can't be comfortable, because he's good, yeah. So I'm here, I've got a scarf hold. Uh, maybe I switched the base here, took my arm out, scoop his head out here, and I'm pulling his head up so his chin is coming through. From here, 
I want you guys to do this. Your left hand is going to go back to the wrist and you're going to just straight on push his hand over your thumb. Okay. Or you can put your foot on his wrist and then push. Okay. And here, you scoop it. Your hand comes back to the wrist. You push it down. And it's basically an arm lock using the leg. Okay. For those of you who are newer, just start with the head control. Everybody can just start with the head control, but I just want you to be dynamic over here and pull in the head, okay? I'm not sitting necessarily on my butt. I'm actually using, my butt's about half an inch off the mat and all the pressure's on his chest, on his ribs, okay? So from here, count to 10. One, two, three, four. So it's a lot of pressure. I can apply way more, okay? So from here, I'm applying pressure. His left hand's gonna be doing some, where'd you put your left hand? I'm trying to frame your neck. Yeah, so, and I try to grab your arm. I'm gonna put my foot on his wrist and do just a basically straight arm lock. I wanna grab his wrist because I know he's either also gonna rotate it in or rotate it out. And then you have two locks right here. So you gotta be ready for them to rotate. But basically what you're gonna do, you got into the case of Tommy position here, scooping the head, and your hips are off the mat and your feet are wide, okay? You have your partner count. Ready? One, two, Three. That's where you know when it's good here. And you reach back, grab that wrist and push it down. And they should be able to tap, okay? As you push it down, I want to be able to use my thumb to control this wrist here, okay? As I guide it over the fulcrum, which is your leg. So let's start that. And you're hooking the head and you're scooping it because you want his chin to touch his chest. Okay, let's try that. One, two, three. If you want to put some good pressure, let me know. I'll be happy to come around.